Hey guys, what's up? We're back with more Pokemon Coliseum bonus walkthrough. And in the last part, we heard about um, there being someone by the name of Deep King in uh, Deep Coliseum. And we will battle him, not in this part, maybe in the next one, I'm not sure. Nonetheless, what I wanted to show is we talked to this guy. Hand over the steel teeth to the old man. Yes, the steel teeth belong to him. And now he can actually talk. Hrumph! Pokemon Pikachu picked a peck of Pokeballs. What? Ah, no more air leakage. Ah, I can finally talk normally again. You're a savior. I thank you for your kindness. It's perhaps not much of a thanks, but I'd like you to have this. He gives you the Elvis. I have another one, so don't concern yourself over me. Really? There is absolutely nothing over to the left, except, as you can see, an item box. An item box that has been tempting us since the time of Venus being here, which was a freaking pain in the neck, but nonetheless, we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the Elvis. Now, it's kind of weird, but you basically get a disc that allows you to get an item on the other side. That is kind of completely useless. Um, nonetheless, uh, if you go left, I personally don't really like this item, but I know for a fact that there are some people who do like this item, so for that reason and that reason only, I will make the slow way of going left, and no, you don't have to view a camera either from that side. It's a box, and it has one angular coin. I personally probably will never use that item, ever. So... Yeah, like, I mean, there are some people who like it, there are some people who like, you know, getting a lot of money so that they can buy, I guess there's some people who love using items in battle, which is not a bad thing, if that's the way you play, that's the way you play. Um, you know, I, it's really preference, do you like using money at all in this game? Personally, I don't really find myself using that much money, but... You know, it is always helpful to have money, I will admit that. In fact, I, uh, off-screen, I bought a bunch of Vivid Scents, and I started purifying some of the Shadow Pokemon that we had caught, because purifying them takes a while, trust me. It, it's very painful. <laughs> um, nonetheless, I'm not here to talk about that. We're here to battle in the Deep Coliseum. Now, what you're going to have to do here is, it's not really a spoiler to mention this, but, oh crap, I didn't fix my line. But, what I wanted to mention was the fact that you're going to be doing the Coliseum numerous times. You're not going to be doing it once in Battle DK. No. You're going to be battling it a total of five times. The first one you already completed. But now this is battle two. Alright, so once we finish this set, then we go on to battle three. Finish that set, four, finish that set, and then you finally end with five. So yes, you will battle this a uh, grand total of five times. All different trainers, but yeah, for the most part, it's repetitive. Nonetheless, I chose Espeon and for Alligator. I really can't say that for Alligator was a bad choice, but I definitely will say that Espeon probably could have been a better choice. Um, I'm going to go to return that Sneasel and I'm going to use Ice Beam on that Jump Wolf. I don't really feel like Jump Wolf is that big of a threat, but when given the option between whether Sneasel or Jump Wolf is the big threat, I'd say, you know, Sneasel, not really that much moves that it has at its advantage, so, yeah. I mean, of course it is an ice dark type, which is a unique type, don't get me wrong, but really, the only big dark type moves I don't know is a like, pink which it's a good move, but there are a lot of uh, other moves that are really powerful. Alright, so we got an electro on the field. I think I'll get rid of that electro. I guess I'll go with a high rip on that Sneasel. Hopefully, uh, I don't think Spark will kill for out here. Yeah, it doesn't even come close. Well, it paralyzed, so we'll see if, uh, see if the Radiator does actually get off the attack. A critical hit off of Electro. Electro faints. For Alligator, he was paralyzed on this turn, so there is a chance that maybe he can outspeed Sneasel still. Let's see. 
No, he won't. But Crush Fly, I believe that's a normal type move. So it's not going to do too much against Espeon. Uh, Flaytra, unfortunately, I think we'll move. We'll go with the Return on Sneasel and the Hydra Pump to hopefully hit them off. If Return doesn't do it. Okay, Return. Almost. Not quite. Crush Claw again. As you can see, Sneasel, not a dark type move. But defense spell, so it's not a fair use. Hydra Pump. And it will attack. Of course. Sneasel's down. As long as we breeze through these battles, we should be perfectly fine. We should be perfectly fine as long as every battle goes as smoothly as this one. And I'm going to switch up my lineup next time because for Alligator and Espeon, I believe, are about to become... Actually, no, is Mistrevis level 60? Let me check that really quick. I didn't know which uh, Pokemon I hired. I know Ampharos is level 57. Pretty sure about that. Um... Yeah, I mean, they're not really that far apart, but I'm not going to say what we're going to do until the very last episode. Well, not really very last, but, you know, close to last. Probably say close. What the uh, video where we show the last Shadow Pokemon getting caught, which I don't know how long it's going to be, it's probably going to be two or three parts of that. Yeah, and for us it's only 57, everyone else is going to be in Pretty good. Uh, so next time we'll have Empress and Regal. I know that's not really. I, I want to have a little bit of strategy in it, but the fact of the matter is that they're becoming almost three levels lower. Uh, after this battle, we should have. Three anyway, Marsh Top and Delibert. I think I'm gonna go with a Psych Gun at Marsh Top, and we'll go for. We'll just uh, go with the Hydro Pump on Delibert, I guess. Oh, gosh, I should have used Surf. I was debating with myself whether I should have used Surf or not, and I used Hydro Pump. No. Alright, it's okay. And Hydro Pump missed, too. You're kidding. You're kidding. Alright, Psychic on that Belly Bird. That was the first time that Hydro Pump has ever missed for me, too. That's awesome. You know, I mean, a move that has 70% accuracy, and I think I've been able to use it about 8 times. 10 times, something like that. You know, that's pretty accurate. So, obviously not going to do much against that wall run. Let's just, wall run is a huge freaking defensive and offensive powerhouse, seriously. Oh my gosh, that thing is going to slam you on both freaking defense and offense. Do I, who do I think is better for Alligator or Walrun? I'd probably say for Alligator still. Just because for Alligator's attack step, it complements it very well for some of the moves that it can play. Walrun, it doesn't really have a high attack stat, but special attack is definitely something that it does have. So, I guess I'll just go with Hydro Pump, because Earthquake would hit Espeon, and I don't want to accidentally kill it. I don't really think Earthquake would kill it, but... In the off chance that I do get bad luck, just making sure. Hydro Pump, that'll do a lot, just hopefully. A critical hit, and Walrind's down from a water type attack. That's very unlike Walrind. I know, because I've used a Walrind in a couple of weeks. That was, uh, if you ever watched my sad attempt at playing it, XD for like eight parts. Yeah, I did. He swim. That's a pretty nice boat. Water X types are usually really cool. But anyway, we got the semi final going up. My Pokemon loved about it. My Pokemon do too. Or at least I hope so, or else this is kind of abusive. Anyway, Lobbert. What? Would like to battle. My unit and Zatsu. Normal type and psychic form. I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Because, you know, normal type girl is tricky Pokemon. Very, very offensive. And Lion is probably one of the 
most offensive one of the fights out there, so be, be careful about lining. But we'll go with the psychic. I hope it's not defensive. Well, lining, I don't really think it's defensive, but nonetheless, that was uh, pretty amazing. It's still going to be against psychic. Defense is gonna fall, that's not bad. Psychic probably headed for Peralliator. If it's headed for us, then it's stupid, okay. Blade Chair does get hit. Ice Beam! On its way! Can it get rid of that Datu? It will. I used Datu and um, Crystal. That was fun. A lot of people are like, eh, flying Psychic type. You know, let's choose Lugia. And, you know, I'm, I'm just like, eh. I kind of like Natsu. Natsu has always had my respect. Uh, we'll go with the Psychic on Azumarill, and we'll go with Surf to finish off that lining, and if Psychic somehow doesn't do it, really? Really? I thought it would do a little bit more than that. I mean, at the least, put it in red bar health. Alright, nonetheless, Surf. Lining is down. Good job. Right? And as you will, I can already tell you it's gonna survive it. Meta Chan! Fighting Psychic Oh, Oh my god! Oh my god! It almost took itself out with that one! I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna say, you know. If I know Espeon, it can freaking take out Metachamp, and Bralligator should be able to finish the job on Azu. Oh my god, don't you dare. Don't you dare go first. Oh my god. How does it even learn Shadow Ball? That doesn't make any sense. It's like a fighting type. Sorry, Espeon. I really did think that Espeon had the, uh, had potential to I'm just gonna set out Ampharos because we all know that for Alligator outspeeds um, Azumarill, and for that reason, it will take out both Pokemon. And Ampharos will just be the uh, Pokemon to get a bunch of experience. Simple as that. It's like okay, I just had uh, Ampharos hold experience, right? And then we get four. Gosh, Ampharos, you're almost level 58. Then you won't be my lowest level on the team, you'll be tied for lowest level. I'm sorry, my Pokemon. Final battle. Final. So we all know I'm starting out with Ezreon and for Alligator. Let's see what he Oh my gosh. Yeah, here's one factoid that I should tell you. That's Nico. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. Da ha ha. You again? I'll crush you. Yes, you're going to be facing off against all three of the admins that you saw along the way. So Dacum, Venus, and I will return, and they will be definitely tough to beat. So be prepared. This is not going to be a walk in the park, unfortunately. Now, I'm debating with myself right here because Ice Beam, I know for a fact, would get rid of that fog. However, I feel like if I do a Psychic on it first, and then I hit it with Surf, I might be able to get rid of it. So I'm going to do that. Because I know for a fact Surf would do a lot of damage on Surf. Probably not enough to get rid of it, unless it was a critical hit, but definitely a lot of damage on that Surf. So let's see. I knew Flygon was going to outspeak for Alligator. Flygon is one of the most fastest dragon types. Um, Earthquake. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Alligator probably would take it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, surf. Let's see how much damage it does on Soul Rock first. Yeah, I thought it would do at least that. No, I was wrong about getting that fly gun. And Earthquake again. Unfortunately for me, oh my god. Unfortunately for me, Flygon is immune to Earthquake. Now, even though Flygon is not a flying type Pokemon per se, it is a ground dragon type. It still has Levitate for the ability. And I don't want to set up Ampharos because I know for a fact that one Earthquake probably could survive. However, another Earthquake, probably not. So, 
Uh, I think I'm going with the Shadow Ball and a Flygon. I'm hoping that this room is up to its Flygon. If that is the case, then that would be awesome. Doesn't matter anymore. X accuracy. He's going to waste a turn. That is a complete waste of a turn. Because none of those Pokemon will survive this turn. None of them. Shadow Ball will get rid of that Flygon. And Surf will get rid of that Soul Rock. And hopefully it will do a decent damage on whatever the heck comes next. We'll find out what happens. Oh, this looks super mysterious. Good job. Uh, Swampert. Okay. Okay. I'll take that. It's not a bad choice for using the Surf. Alright. The Solar Art Town. Let's see how much damage you can do. So I got Miss Grievous, and I got Fralligator, my second kill. Oh, of course, it's in Another Earthquake freaking strategy, but if he uses Earthquake this time around, he'll attack Stomper as well. So I'm going to go with a Shadow Ball and that Claydol, and then I'm going to use Surf again to... Oh my gosh, Miss Grievous, you just one-hit KO'd a freaking tank. That's awesome. Good job, Miss Grievous. How do you? Perfect. Alright, Surf should get rid of Houndoom, because Houndoom has pretty lousy special defense. So, let's see. No! Wow! It actually survived with reasonable health, but Earthquake... Now, I know for a fact that Swampert's gonna kill his own teammate, but he might get rid of Alligator as well. Yeah, Houndoom... No way, we'll get that. Let's see if Alligator survives. That, that'll be pretty interesting to see what it does. Uh, I didn't think so. Does he have another Pokemon or... Oh my gosh, Mr. Screw. Is he still out there for us? I don't know if he has another Pokemon though, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Then in that case, uh... Is that a red Shadow Ball? I mean... It's just Thunder Wave on I'm not sure... Of course. Anyway, I'm not sure if uh, Thunder Wave will work on him, considering he's a moment, or you know, ground type. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it'll work on him, considering he's a ground type. But... Not... Okay. So, I'm wrong. Let's do a side beam. I mean, really, I only have electric type moves on him, so. so I'm going to come in the Thunder Wave, or Thunder Wave. Confusion, possibly? You know what? Ampros, he survives. No, I didn't think so. Um, you know what? Because he's been spamming Earthquakes the entire battle, it's a good error. Because then he can't use Earthquake. He goes back. Now, if I know water types in this game, he probably somehow, in some way, Nodes, freaking stupid moves like Ice Cream. Not a nice type at all, but it doesn't need to be. Yep, of course. Why wouldn't he do that? I'm not in fear of losing. Keep sending out the wrong focus. It's a swamper standing with its back against the wall. This is the end. Uh, as long as Psybeam and Brick Break, which both have 100 accuracy, hit, this has to go. So Psybeam will hit. Brick Break. Oh, of course. Swamper is down. That Swamper took out like half my team. I got a hand to it. That was uh, pretty, pretty good. The stream is super slow it up. That's freaking crazy. Yeah. This can't be the Mighty Day can lose again. Not really the Mighty Day. Seriously. I think he might have Entei with him if uh, you failed to catch him the past two times that you faced him. So, yeah. Anyway, we get $20,936 and $48. And we 
got a message, but first, let's uh, check out TM48. Skill swap, that's actually pretty nice. Basically swaps the abilities of your Pokemon. Um, before I read that email, I know I'm going to be stupid and forget to do this. So we're going to have you two start the next uh, match. We'll look at our PDA and we'll see who the heck this email is. Deep King, again. I'm getting information about Deep King, but slowly. He does sound like an expert trainer, though. I wonder what kind of Pokemon he uses. That is seriously like the same exact message he sent to me last time, except he just said, you know, oh crap, wait, no, 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 no. I need to say it again. Every time you beat a set, you probably should say it. You know, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes the lead can shut off. Uh, because it says, Hey, where's the crew? You can all read the, the game, basically, and then you have to click it. Turn off your Wii, and, you know, that happened a lot to me when I was playing XP. I, okay, I can believe the final battle on XP, that's what I'm thinking. And the credits are rolling, right? XD has some of the longest freaking like cutscene after the uh, after the game's over, and I just had to sit through that. And I was like, "Come on, hurry up! I want to save. I know that something bad's gonna happen." And guess what happened? The Wii shut off. Right? Not really like exactly at the end of the cutscene, but near the end of the cutscene. And I was like, "God dang it!" And yeah, I had to do the fight all over again. It wasn't that hard to do. Um, truthful, but it was just annoying that I hate And first it Randall, or him on top. I don't know why I sometimes say, like, uh, their actual name, and sometimes I say the nickname I gave them. You know what, we're gonna go Thunder on top of the shot. Totally unnecessary, but who cares? Brick Break on that Ursa Ring. I didn't know I think it was gonna get rid of it, but good shot. Oh, God, really? First ring is toxic. What? Congratulations! You just reached platinum. Stupidity. I mean, if you're gonna use like facade or something to take advantage of the fact that you have like a, you know, some kind of status ailment? At the least, choose a freaking status ailment that's not toxic, that gets more and more deadly by the second as you keep it on the field. That is the dumbest strategy ever. Like, freaking paralyze it or, or burn it, like, you know, because the saw doesn't follow the, well, the second effect of burn, which cuts attack stat in half, so that would be efficient. You know, but don't freaking use toxic. I mean, regular poison would be okay, but... See, this is gonna show it as much as me. I don't know why. Why is it that the only move that he used was toxic? Drugs. Why you're freaking bad? It doesn't make any sense. Dreadle can use Break Break. This is gonna bring the battle to an end. This laughably easy battle. To an end. I think that took a total of a minute and a half to two minutes. That's sad. Alright, goodbye. Next one. I forgot to focus on winning. Yeah, you were too busy focusing on toxic, using toxic on every single Pokemon, including your own, that you forgot to win. Anyway, Deep Policy in Battle 2. Did you really come all the way down here just so you could lose? Um, that wasn't really my intentions. Graveler and Whalebird! Man, do I wish that I started out with, uh, for Alligator on this one. But unfortunately I didn't. Because for Alligator could get rid of that, uh, Graveler right off the bat. I know for a fact that Graveler probably won't die from from Brick Break, unfortunately, but I really can't do anything with Electric to support an attack, so I just gotta have complete faith that Drado can, uh, did I just Brick Break Whaler? Yeah, I just was an idiot, yep. And tell me, did I use Thunder on Graveler too? 
No, okay, so I actually made one good decision. But now I gave it time to use defense for a whistle boost its defense if that wasn't even enough. That's great. Good job. Yep. Would have at least done half damage last time, guys. Just like a little bit less now. So Thunderbolt will miss. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, defense curl one more time. It might be powering up rollout or just gathering a bunch of defense for the heck of it. I'm not really sure why. Um, no crazy guy. Super effective, but if you get the defense curl, I'm not going to do too much. Sir. Thunderbolt, it's gonna hit, and Whalmer, I can tell you for a fact that thing is down. Even if it had full health, it would have gone down. Anyway, it's awesome for us. Now, what is the next Pokemon? Really tough. Okay, so a double amazingness for a uh, hip on top. Yeah, it's gonna use Rollout. I'm actually kinda surprised with that, because I thought for sure it would use um, First Plate, considering the fact that Ampress is on the field. But. I don't know, I guess you just didn't want to uh, attack its TA as well. I can't really uh, put, a finger, put my finger on it. Brick Break on that Graveler, that should get rid of it. In fact, it does. Graveler fainted, and we have one more Pokemon that she has, or she has one more Pokemon to, uh, for us to get rid of, and then we can call this one. Done. So Dawn finished. Thunder. It will hit. Wiggly Tough. Wow! It survived, but it did get paralyzed, and it's gonna use its turn to use defense curl. That's completely useless because we're gonna target a Thunderbolt at its next turn, next turn, and defense is different from, from special defense. Nonetheless, that Dawn Fen is kind of intimidating considering the fact that Ampharos will serve absolutely no purpose. Thunderbolt will get rid of Wigglytuff, and I'll be the end of that. I'm just going to get rid of that Dawn Fen, which I can already tell you is going to be a pain to get rid of. So think, Electra, I'm going to switch you out just to make the battle go a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and switch to Arrow, he's at 59. And hit him on top, just use Brick Break. Just keep on keep chipping away with Brick Break. Sooner or later, you'll get rid of him. Anyway, Arrow, somehow. Set up on the field. Let's see what happens. Quick break. You're not going to make too much. That's okay. Earthquake doesn't affect Aero. Does affect Hitmon on top. Can he survive it? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. No, I'm going to Sky Attack on it. I'm going to attack the Bradle. I'm going to expect the Earthquake again. Sky Attack! One of the most, actually the most powerful flying type of the game. And wow, that defense really gave it a boost. Oh crap, if it uses Earthquake, it's over. Yeah, for him on top, it's over. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, him on top. It's okay though, you did freaking awesome. Effort. It's basically a question of who do I want to get the experience? I would be first. This means Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath will attack under the special defense stat. So Donphan uh, is down. I believe Donphan has pretty balanced attack, defense, special defense, special attack. Um, but, you know, still. Donphan. I see you're good enough to get down here. Next up, in the semi-final, and then we'll have the final, and this probably will be like a 40 minute video for this. The Coliseum semi-final. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-
I'm simply not about to lose. That's what everyone has been saying. You know, everyone's like, I'm not gonna lose, I'm not gonna lose, if you come here to lose? No. No, no, sure. The battle hasn't even started yet. We have no idea what our Pokemon are, and you're already saying I'm gonna lose. Thanks. Ampharos and Hitmontop. Level 58 and level 59. We're catching up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use. Okay, that's great. We can take it again. Right. We're gonna use Thunder on that Ramble. And I'm gonna go uh, for quick on Spin that. Because I actually think Spin is a bigger threat. I know, it's weird. But I feel like Spin is a bigger threat than Ramble. Just because it is some one of the most annoying Pokemon in the game when it uses Teeter Dance. It's gonna use Wish, fortunately for us, so it's not gonna freaking be an idiot and use that uh, stupid Teeter Dance move that we can use every single Pokemon on the field, which is very annoying. But, oh, whoops, not doing this. Let's use Thundershock to get rid of that Granbull. Granbull will go down from Thundershock, I already told you that. Brick Break on Spinda. Spinda, Fainted, of course. Thundershock will be used on that uh, Granbull. Okay, Thundershock on Granville, and of course with like probably 5 to 10 HP left in this game. Spin this wish came true, but it was denied really. Brick Break on uh, Delicati. I really will say Delicati has a lot of deep. Wow, that is sad. Please wish. I don't know why. I truthfully don't know why. Because, um. Thunder just annihilated. I didn't think that Delicati was going to take that much damage on Brick Break, so that's why I used Thunder in the first place. But, yeah, Wish was a complete waste of time. I mean, at least he's a track or something. I'm not sure if that Delicati was male or female. I won't believe this happened. What? I won't believe this happened. How can you not believe it happened? I mean, seriously. Deep Coliseum Fang! Venus. Oh no, not you again. You're annoyingly persistent. Sure. Except for that new Venus for like the bad Level 65 Blissies. Level 64 Bananas. No one in Rexy. Level 58 Amphros is in it. Behind Green. Hit my top. Flora is in it. Let's see. It's funny. Actually, it is. Hands down. Biggest friggin' special defense on the wall that you will ever see in the game. In the, in the game. Sorry. Brick break on the game. I know that I said that Blissey was a big wall, but for that reason, I don't really want to attack it because it's gonna take a while to take it down. And really? Blissey? Oh my gosh, really a track. It's, it's a threat, but. Offensively, it's not truly that big. Defensively, it's a huge thing, but offensively, not. So we're gonna use Brick Break again on the game. Chipping away at that health, probably will get rid of it um, next turn if two things happen. Ampharos hits this turn, and Hit on top hits next turn. And yeah, that's the first thing I didn't know. So even Thunder gonna paralyze perhaps? Yes, there you go. There you go. We'll use Thunder on Blissey, and I'm gonna put complete faith that him on top.
Okay, fine. If you want pass me on, alright, we're gonna get rid of that Beganium because I already know what the strategy is for Venus. Venus is obviously is an attractor. Which only 50% of the time is supposed to negate you from attacking. I don't think that's a fair one because that happens way more times that you miss than ever that you actually hit in the turn. So I'm gonna get rid of the game first. Like I said, offensively, even though Blissey did take out a uh, hip on top, offensively, Blissey is not that powerful. It's just not. So I chose to use Thunder. Can it get rid of the game? Yes! Nice, and Espeon breaks free of the attract that the game can use. The dust ball is sent out. You got I broke out of one just so you could do that. Oh my gosh, that's stupid. Alright, thunder on that dust box and psychic on dust box. We gotta get rid of dust box because I know for a fact that it is a tank more than it is, uh, you know. Offense Pokemon, but still, I know it is a ghost type Pokemon, and ghost types, yeah, they are. But the good news is that Ampharos broke out of the uh, attract because Meganium is down. So now we have at least one Pokemon that can freely attack as long as Blissey does not use attract this turn. Raichu is somehow. Okay, Blissey is paralyzed, so it's not going to be able to. I'm gonna use Thunder on Raichu because it didn't really do much against that. Uh, let's see. So, we'll draw a Psychic. I mean, let's see if it even hits. It does hit. I'm hitting a lot with, uh, even though, uh, this guy doesn't track it. But, yeah, that hardly did anything. Raichu's gonna use Thunder Wave. If it is, if it hits Espeon, it's so bad. Wow, Synchronize will play an effect and, uh, that will paralyze Raichu. Thunder for not very effective with a lot of damage. I don't know how that makes any sense that Blissey knows Flamethrower. But okay. If it was trying to burn Espeon, it's not gonna work. At least not anymore. Thunder again. Ampharos for another turn is a uh, track free. So. One, one effect, uh, crap. Please use that on Espeon. I would, I, I would rather it be on Espeon than Ampharos. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with the track confused and paralyzed. I know that pretty much leaves it for the Let's see, 50% of 50, and then 25% of 25. So. I have a, a 7. No. No, not even, not even, I have a 6.25% chance of hitting. Yep. Espeon has a 6.25% chance of hitting. 50% chance it'll hit itself in confusion, 50% chance that it will be immobilized by love, and 25% chance that it will be paralyzed. Actually, no, wait. Well, then it would be, um, 18. Wow. It will be 18.75% chance of hitting, actually. Yeah, 18.75% chance of hitting. Wow. My low tick is faster, it's gonna do a lot of damage, and it's about to get rid of that spell, unfortunately. But you know, Espeon was pretty much suffering, I mean, seriously, it had three status ailments on it. Um, I'll go with Altaria, just because two things, you know, lowest level um, of the Pokemon that I have live, and also, you know, it does have a resistance against my low tick. 
so. Oh crap, wait a minute. Paralyze that, please. Oh crap. I already know that Milo Tick, like all the cliche water types, probably knows how to freaking use ice beam. Because, you know, that's just how it works. So, that was a horrible choice. Okay, set up for you. Thought I didn't see it coming, did you? Yep, knew it. I knew it. As long as for alligator is not frozen, which it's not, it should be good. Thunder Shock, we got rid of that Milo Tick. It's always nice to have a, you know, little new story to the overpowered freaking Pokemon. Alright. Let's see, it's paralyzed and cannot move. And here we go. This is just Blissey versus my Pokemon. Any, anyone that I send out? Hydro Pump, first to go. Blissey takes about a third of what it had. Thunder will blast away a Blissey, probably a half of what it had. And now she needs a track like a freaking ignoramus. Okay. I don't know who did more damage out of the two of them. But as long as I can pump it, should be game over. I don't see any margin of health and it's gone. Let's see, probably has like 600 HP at that level. No. I guess maybe like 500 or 400, something like that. It is not a HP, trust me. Aye, how dare you, how dare you! Congratulations, you're the champion, though. Obviously, please do the crap for me. Alright, TM44. That's great, I don't care. Um, it's rest. That's a pretty nice move. I'm not gonna teach it, but that's still a nice move. Especially because in this game you can call your Pokemon to wake them up, so that's pretty nice. Paul's email, let's look. Again, Deep King. I've been slowly getting more information on the trainer, Deep King. He apparently uses his shadow shut. I really wish you would stop freaking spoiling shadow Pokemon! Before I can go over it, you suck. He could very he could be very tenacious. Alright, so he does have a shadow sh shadow shuckle. Gosh. Shadow shuckle, so we'll be dealing with that in the next part, uh, hopefully. In the next part we'll do the fourth set of Deep Coliseum, and then, hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough time to do it, the fifth set of Deep Coliseum, and we will see if we can beat Deep King and capture his Shadow Shuckle. So see you guys then. Bye!